back to yet another YouTube video. It is your golden way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. We are on day three today. I hope that these devotionals have been inspiring you, they have been speaking to you. I hope that you are experiencing the love of God and you are actually challenged to love people more like Christ. And yeah, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to start recording now. Um, yeah, today is day three and we're going to speak about what love is not. What I really love about the scripture in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 to 8, it speaks about how love is and then it goes on a tangent and says, love does not. And so today we're going to speak about how love does not envy a very very interesting term and the moment i hear of the word envy i instantly think about jealousy um i think about unwarranted desire to have something that is not yours and i think that's something that the lord really placed in my heart that envy is like covetousness and that's one of um the commandments that we are given in the bible that we should not covet the things of our neighbors and it just speaks about wanting something that belongs to somebody else and some of the definitions that i found um of envy was that it is a feeling of discontentment i think that for me is the biggest one because we are always forced to not feel content about our situations, the way we look, our body, how we behave, what we eat. We always feel insignificant and insufficient and that is basically what envy is and that is not love and it goes on further to say that it is resentful longing aroused by someone else's position and I've already explained what that is and the Lord really put a scripture in my heart that I'm going to read for us today which is found in James 3 verse 16 it says that for where you have envy and selfish ambition there you find disorder and every evil practice and I feel like it's such a full word that in the specific word the most common um, in the specific world that we live in the most common way that love is perverted is by creating this discontentment this envious desire this covetousness to say i want that because that person has it because oh everybody has a new iphone i also want that everybody has a new this i also want that and it becomes an unhealthy desire and the way love is painted in the world we see it in rom-coms we see it in fantasies in reality love shows that depict us and create an unrealistic unrealistic expectation of love based on somebody else's imagination and not of God's that's where the danger is and I feel like we need to understand that actual love is the opposite of envy by it being content it's generous and friendly and I want you today to just examine your heart ask yourself what are the things that have flooded my mind that I am unable to be content in the situation I am in? So that is generally today's devotionals. Uh, today's de devotional to ask yourself, why am I not content in where I am? Is this where I should be? And that is all for today. Just these questions are to prompt you to journal, to think further about what kind of way have you been thinking about love and really questioning your thought process because the scriptures are very quite clear about how we need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind and because the enemy knows how powerful your mind is he will constantly infiltrate your mind he will constantly put things into your mind and that's why the world pushes and disciples us and it's constantly discipling us like the world is forever discipling us and when we allow the world to just dis disciple us we fall into this pattern of enviousness of covetousness and really discontentment and I do not want us to stay like that and I feel like right now this is something that God has really been teaching me in my personal life to be content 
about who I am, where I am, and what I have. And the most interesting, fascinating thing that assisted me into learning how to be okay with myself really was knowing my identity in Christ, was knowing who I am and knowing whose I am. I know I, I throw that, those terms very loosely around, like know your identity, because in the world that we live in, our identity has been placed so much on our gender, our sexuality, our race, our... Mm. Other, what was the other thing? Our, our religion. Like we've placed identity on so many things that we've lost the value on where identity really came from. Would you not want to know from the creator that made you who you are, from the one that created you, that had a purpose for you, that had a plan for you? It is one thing for me to tell you to journal about what the world has been feeding you or what kind of thought pattern have you been having but it, it is another to fully discover the identity that God has destined for you and I pray that today as you listen to this devotional as you go about today as you go about your your evening your morning whenever you watch this or listen to it I just hope that it inspires you to want to know about Jesus to want to know about a God that created you and made you and hear from the maker himself what was his intention for your life? Have a beautiful and amazing blessed day. Thank you. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs>